Prime Minister Dickon Mitchell says his cabinet has approved the creation of a pension secretariat to allow for the official rollout of the payment of pensions, beginning with retroactive payments by November 15, 2022. Prime Minister Mitchell told members of the business community during a business luncheon hosted by the Grenada Chamber of Industry and Commerce at the Grenada Trade Centre on Tuesday that this move is in keeping with the government's transformation agenda. The Ministry of Finance got approval yesterday from Cabinet for its action plan to implement the payment of the retroactive aspect of the pension. We can find all kinds of reasons to not do it. We can make all kinds of excuses to not do it, but we are committed to doing it. And I can assure you, as long as I have breath, it will happen on or before the 30th of November. So plans are well afoot to achieve that. The Ministry of Finance will be setting up a pension secretariat. It will be housed at the Kaipo office, a conference room. It will be properly staffed to allow for the processing of the necessary paperwork to back this. With the announcement of the approval of the Secretariat, Prime Minister Mitchell says it will be necessary to have the Parliament open to pass supplementary appropriation bills to facilitate the process. He says the government is now looking at a suitable date to reopen Parliament. We are expecting to open Parliament uh, on or before the end of August. If we are required to pass any supplementary appropriation bills, to address the payment of the pensions, we will do so. So the team at the Ministry of Finance is competent and capable. I have full confidence in them. And our target date for actual payment is 15th November, which allows us an additional two weeks in order to do any mopping up uh, or wrapping up that has to occur. Um, we have met with the unions. We have, in summary detail, uh, indicated that that is the approach. We've indicated to them uh, that we would wait until the end of this month, which is this week, to hear any comments or suggestions that they may have to uh, obviously come back with us. The National Democratic Congress-led government estimates that government will pay some $60 million in retroactive pension payments, a figure that created a stir. In a recent press release, the past NMP administration sought to clarify its stated figure of $465 million in pension payment as announced by former Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell. The release issued states that the sum includes a payment for present pensioners, the estimated retroactive payment plus payment for all public officers eligible for retirement by the end of 22 and those eligible for retroactive payment. The new National Party advises that figures related to pension payment are all preliminary until all data is collected and verified. The NMP release further states that it must be noted that the $60 million referred to by the current Prime Minister is the preliminary figure for retroactive payment only. For GBN News, I am Rena Pet thomas reporting.